Hello everybody, welcome back once again. I've got another Octopath Traveler 2 video for you here. Uh, so this one's going to be all about uh, farming experience uh, at the end game. And uh, I'm going to start out with all of the accessories that I think uh, make sense to get first. Uh, and then we'll go into um, kind of my, my the spot that I prefer. And, uh, and yeah. So anyways, uh, what we're going to need is we're going to need all three Octopuff pots. Uh, we'll need the two Kate powders, and then we'll need the two uh, experience accessories. Uh, so first off is the uh, Octo Puff Pots. One of them is found here in Conning Creek uh, from this fisherman. Uh, you can just steal it from him, uh, or you can buy it. Uh, totally up to you on uh, on how you want to you know get that. Okay, so the uh, next uh, Octo Puff Pot we need to get. Uh, actually kind of starts here in Conning Creek as well, uh, kind of, sort of. Um, but, at, you know, being that I'm already here, I figured I, I may as well start this here. But anyways, there's an NPC that will be standing at this table. Uh, I think it's like the Octopuff uh, Enthusiast or something like that. Um, you'll need to either allure or hire him uh, or guide um, uh, and, and get him to follow you. Uh, and you need to bring him over here to Montwise. And uh, we need to speak with the, I think it's like the Octopuff Researcher. I think he's right over here. Yeah, the Octopus Researcher. Um, this guy will have a quest called uh, Will Research for Money. Uh, and all you need to do is start that quest and bring, again, this guy, which is the Octopus Enthusiast. Or Enthusiast. <laughs> well, I can't speak today. Uh, right to him. And that will, uh, that will get you the second uh, Octopuff Pot. Alright, so for the third and final Octopuff pot. Uh, you're going to need to head to the White House Island. Uh, unfortunately, that does mean that you need to have the ship. Uh, so you'll have to buy the ship first at Trapu Hapu. Again, that's also uh, 100,000 leaves. Not too bad, though. Um, especially if you know how to farm leaves efficiently. But here it is, the last uh, Octopuff pot. Okay, so the next uh, item uh, that we'll need here to do kind of our end game farming is going to be the Kate Powder. Uh, there's actually two of them in the game. Uh, one of them is located here in Trapu Hapu, and um, you need to be uh, level 30 or higher to ambush her uh, because the, uh, the the item itself is inside uh, and inside a treasure chest. Uh, so again, either uh, you know 30 for the ambush, or you can. Uh, duel her, uh, you know, either with, um, uh, or I should say provoke her with Ochet or duel her uh, with Hikari. All right, so let's uh, let's knock her out here. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> Fool, how dare you like cats. Uh, and here it is, K-Powder. All right, so that's the, uh, that, that's the first one. Okay, so a second uh, Kate powder is found here in Clockbank. Uh, it's basically the the guy right here that starts the quest. I'll just um, I'll just uh, go through this dialogue here really quickly. I'm not going to read it out, but it says there. So begins the tale of my beloved Catherine, uh, and we need to um, guide him. Let's see here. I may need to grab somebody else. Uh, let's see how much it costs to hire him. Yeah, let's just hire him. All right. And, um, you know, as usual, <clears throat> you can bring other, other characters along with you. Um, you, can, you can bring Temenos. I don't know what level you need to be uh, in order to guide him with Temenos. There's also uh, Agnea, right? She can uh, allure him as well. But um, anyways, we're going to take the, um, the haggard man uh, right here to Catherine. The, losen, the lonesome cat, excuse me. Catherine, Catherine, my darling. <laughs> I'm just going to zip through this, and uh, it's pretty cute, but there it is. We have reunited him with Catherine. And there it is, the second uh, Kate Power. Okay, so next clip here that I wanted to throw in um, was the uh, the next item that I, that I think is very useful for, you know, getting experience. Uh, and that's the Experience Augmenter, or the EXP Augmenter. Uh, that is found here, just to the east of uh, Frigid Isle. 
Uh, you do have to have the ship, so again, keep that in mind. Uh, and it's located in this ship here. I already grabbed it, so unfortunately you can't, uh, can't see me uh, obtaining it. But um, yeah, that's, uh, very, again, very, very important uh, item for, you know, farming experience. All right, so here is the uh, the experience augmenter. Again, that's an accessory. I don't remember if I uh, if I mentioned that, but uh, very important. Uh, also, the next up here is uh, we're in Winter Bloom, and the the kind of like the last uh, accessory uh, and item that I think is is good to have is the Brooch of Joy. Um, I I don't remember if you can um, it, obviously I've already I've already got this from her, but I don't remember if uh, if like you're always able to like entreat this uh, with Agnea um, I believe I may have stolen it from her instead uh, or also potentially uh, purchased it but I, I can't remember so again it's just you know one of those deals where you know if you can't steal it or you're not high enough level or whatever you can try these other methods as well um, but again very important though it says receive additional experience and JP so um, that is the the last of the accessories that I think that are you know really kind of critical for uh, for this Okay, so the uh, the next uh, I guess person uh, that we need to get here is actually Elrond. I've actually already recruited him, but I'm gonna I'll kick him out here just so that we can see him. Um, Elrond is located here in Wellgrove. Uh, he is uh, kind of the thing that makes all of this really work, uh, especially for the year like once you get into the you know like late '80s and and throughout the '90s, right? Uh, it it takes so much experience to level and really the only viable way is is to recruit Elrond and uh, and use him uh, the reason why Elrond is is needed is because he has this skill called treasure smell um, what that does is uh, he has basically six different abilities that he can use uh, he can use exp times I think it's times two uh, times 10 or times 100 and then he's got the the JP equivalent uh, JP times 10 uh, or I'm sorry JP times 2 10 and 100. So basically he has six different abilities that he can possibly use. Um, I don't know if like EXP times 100 is more rare than any of the other ones. It kind of does seem that way, but um, maybe that's just because that's the only thing that I really cared about. But um, anyways, the reason why he is so good, uh, maybe it's obvious, EXP times 100 is, is huge. Um, the thing also that, uh, that can also do that as well, or you can get that effect in one other way, allegedly uh and that's by using bewildering grace i've never had that happen um the problem with bewildering grace is it's such a huge pool of different effects that can happen um you know ranging from you know you lose all of your sp you lose all of your bp um it'll heal you sometimes it'll uh take 10 shields off of the enemy which is kind of cool but um, the, the problem is, you know, we're really trying to get experience and, um, having so many different, uh, abilities happening with Bewildering Grace makes it, I, I don't think worthwhile, right? I think that you really, you really want to be using Elrond. So, uh, a couple of different ways to get Elrond. Uh, if Temenos is level 80, you can guide him. Uh, you will basically never be able to, uh, allure him with Agnea. He only ever has a 2% uh, chance of of being allured and so it's not worth uh, trying in my opinion um, <clears throat> the uh, the other two ways uh, are, are hiring him uh, or uh, befriending him using Ochet uh, if you want to use those two methods you need to go outside here at night uh, and try that as well now um, in order to befriend him you need these Octopath bowls these are actually really easy to get uh, especially in the like kind of using the the method that we're going to be using and, and fighting in the area that I I think is best uh, to fight in um, otherwise again you can hire him for 160,000 uh, that that probably seems pretty expensive but uh, it, it's not that bad uh, towards the end of the game right where money really isn't uh, an issue anymore um, but yeah so you know, if you don't have enough to hire him uh, and you and you want to use the Octopath Bulls, well, that's going to mean that you're going to need to kill some Octopath uh, Kings or Octopuff Kings, I'm sorry, uh, which isn't too bad. But um, basically, once you've hired him, uh, let's let's actually hire him. I'll, I'll use Ochet and just hire him here, although I, I do think uh, Temenos is, is really the way to go. But unfortunately, again, you need to be level 80 in order to hire him. But 
Anyways, once you've got him, uh, you'll just want to head over here to Stormhale. And we'll just run out the uh, the south uh, gate. And um, a lot of times, actually, I'll, I'll run into Otto, Otto Puff Queens out here. Um, I, I never, I don't think I ever ended up getting a nut uh, from her, which, um, you know, is a pretty, you know, it, it, basically you can get, uh, you know, stat boosting items from all of the different uh, Octo Puffs in the game. I don't think I ever ended up getting any from the Queen, but I know I got a bunch in here from the Octopuff King. Uh, so I guess just keep that in mind. Now, uh, when you initially come here to the uh, the Beneath the Wall uh, dungeon, the, the bridge will be here. And the important thing to know about the bridge is you just need to have a bunch of characters with you. Because um, basically the weight of all of your characters and if you're... Uh, and you do need to uh, have some people allured and hired... Uh, in order to do that. So this is actually the optimal party. Now, I actually, the first time that I that I went through here, I had Oswald with me, and uh, Oswald obviously can't, you know, allure or uh, guide anybody, so I couldn't do that with him. But I think I used, like, Agnea, Ochet, and Patricio. Um, so basically, I had somebody hired, I had somebody befriended with Ochet, and then I had somebody allured with Agnea. And then I just ran across the bridge. And that basically breaks the bridge so that you fall down into the Infernal Castle. And this is where I prefer to level. Um, so in addition to all of the different, you know, Octopuff pots. So I've got um, a Champion's Belt. Actually, this is really nice too, so it prevents surprise attacks. You definitely want to have this on when you're uh, leveling, right? You don't want to be jumped by enemies and get, you know, stomped. Um, so I've got the Octopuff pot on him. Uh, a Kate Powder and an Octopuff pot on Agnea. Uh, the Brooch of Joy, which again, you know, for the extra experience, and the Cape Powder here on Ochet. And then the final Octopuff Pot, again, there's three of those. And then the Experience Augmenter on uh, Patricio. Uh, the other thing that you'll, you're going to want, and maybe that's obvious, is uh, you're going to want to have more rare monsters equipped on somebody. Uh, it doesn't matter who. Uh, and also keep in mind, though, that this does not stack, so it won't do you any good. You know, and it actually does warn you, doesn't it? Yeah, it warns you there uh, that it won't do any good. Uh, you know, having multiple characters with that on. Um, and then I've got extra experience. I do notice I, uh, oh no, I, I, I have life in, in the shadows as well. So again, uh, you want to be fighting at night. Maybe that's obvious, um, but that'll get you the extra experience in JP. And then you'll want to have the extra experience on as well. And then you just start running around. Um, I'll throw in a bunch of uh, clips, but basically at this point now, um, I, I don't even bother uh, fighting if... Uh, I'm not running into either Kates or Octopuff Kings. Uh, sometimes I'll still fight the Dreadwolf. Oh, look at there. There's an Octopuff King right there. Um, sometimes I'll still fight the Dreadwolves uh, for the experience, but not usually anymore. I, I, I don't usually really like to, to fight them. They're actually not the most uh, experienced down here. Uh, the best battles to fight for experience are actually the ones with the Kates and um, and some of the other kind of just actually random monsters. Um, so kind of funny that it's not actually the Dread Wolf that uh, gets you the most experience. But um, anyways, what I usually like to do here too is I'll just use like a windy refrain. So I like I like using magic on the Octopuffs and the Kates. I actually don't really like a lot of people suggest using the um, the Merchant um, and, and just going with that Merchant ability, right? The the hired help. I don't, I don't think that that's a good way to do it. Um, you don't need to break these guys. Um, <laughs> that actually, that was a pathetic damage. Um, what you do want to have, though, also, and I forgot to mention this earlier, is you really want to have one step ahead on everybody, right? So that's the um, the ability that you'll get if you've got enough inventions. Um, and, and actually what I do here with Ochet is do a, use a leg hold trap. That's going to make it so that your, you know, your characters are acting before him. Um... And then actually I just use magic, uh, so I'll, I'll do just enough damage with the magic. You kind of have to play around with it, right? You need to know how much damage you're actually doing. Um, oh, he's terrible. But yeah, so uh, some some people like to use hired help and then just try to break these guys, but I just don't like to do that. I don't, um, I don't prefer that method. I didn't realize Petriel has such a bad setup right now. But anyways, all right, so let's use uh, let's do a luminescence here. We'll see how much this does. 36. That's probably pl plenty. Uh, and then I'm just going to defend again here. And then we'll try to get Ochet's. Yeah, Ochet's coming up. 
Her shield chat's at the end, isn't she? Um, so let's defend here. We'll defend one more time. Actually, I should have summoned uh, Elrond as well here. But anyway, so we'll just go to capture. And that, that was already 100%. Um, a lot of times when I was doing this before, I had uh, pa Particio as a um, as the Arcanist, and I was using like Malice, and um, Ma Malice wasn't hitting as hard. And so, uh, if I just tried to use the Capture Command and not, uh, you know, boost it, uh, because you can boost the Capture Command as well to, you know, increase the chances, obviously, of you capturing. Um, and usually, though, it was starting out at about a 60% capture rate, and then I would just boost twice, and it would be 100%. So. Again, I, I don't mess around with breaking them. I don't think that that's, you know, worth it. Um, and I just like to... I prefer to use magic. Magic doesn't miss, right? Uh, which is the problem with these guys is they're insanely evasive. Um, and also this way you don't have to worry about, you know, cranking up uh, Ochet or anybody else's um, accuracy, right? You can just use magic and um, do that that way. So anyways, this gets you the Octopath Bowls. Uh, that's again the item that if you want to hire uh, Alrond uh, with Ochet, you need these Octopath Bowls. And the, the kind of cool thing about this as well is, <clears throat> excuse me, you get four at a time. It only takes three to hire him, so you'll always come out ahead. Um, I'm not going to make any more room. Prepare the monster I've just caught. Yes, yes. Um, also, uh, I... There's, there's one more kind of interesting item, uh, and that is the uh, Jewel Cakes. Uh, the Jewel Cakes says that... Oh, can I not see the... Why can't I see what this effect is? This is what it means to be a star! Oh, you piece of crap. Um, I'll, I'll actually... I'll read the description, but... Uh, the Jewel Cake says that it increases the amount of experience that you get after battle, but it basically does nothing. It is so little that it, it is, I mean, I'm not joking, it is not worth using. It's so bad. It's like 100 experience or something really crappy. Um, but yeah, anyways, all right. So let's uh, let's let's uh, summon in Elrond here in a minute here as well. Um, I'm, I'm just going to play around with this guy. You'll also want to make sure that you're breaking at least one thing, though, right? Because the break bonus is pretty big. Um, and then the, you'll want to try to grab the, or you'll, you'll want to try to grab the overkill bonus as well. Um, oh shoot, did I just, <laughs> dang it, I think it's Pat Patricio is, ha um, oh no, it's her, isn't it? Yeah, it's her, okay, sorry. Alright, so let's uh, bring him in, um, we'll see if we get lucky here, treasures, okay, experience times two, that's terrible, obviously. Um, so now at this point I'm just gonna defend, um, and I'll try to, try to um, smack him here with, let's do a dagger. Oh, there's a JP times 100. Um, so that's huge, obviously, um, you know, if, especially if you if you still need JP for uh, your skills. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's, uh, I'm going to leave him at one shield. I don't, wanna, I, don't wanna kill him. I, don't, I don't think I have any anything to really worry about killing him wise. But all right, so we'll, we'll summon an L running it. Also, keep in mind that these, these do not stack. Um, basically, whatever the best of the... So, like, I got the JP times 100, and now I got the JP times 2. Uh, it doesn't stack. It's it's basically the best... You keep the best one. Um, so that's... You also don't have to worry about that, right? Like, I am going to get the JP times 100 after this, even though I just got the JP times 2. Uh, and, of course, there's the JP times 10. Uh, unfortunately, though, we are still stuck at uh, the EXP times 2. Uh, so let's summon him in one last time. And, okay, <laughs> EXP times two again. Um, and this is kind of, unfortunately, how it goes a lot of the time, right? Where uh, it'll just be a dud, uh, a dud attempt, and we'll have to, uh, you know, try again. Um, but, yeah, let's, uh, let's give this one more shot. Hurry up, let's chat. Oh, my God. There we go. Here she is. All right. No whammies. Oh, EXP times that. Okay. Well, so, um, you know, uh, unfortunate that I didn't, didn't get the 100. I'll, I'll, I'm going to throw in a bunch of different footage here of, uh, of you know, different uh, experience percentages. But again, uh, when you go to actually finish these, this guy off, you'll want to make sure that you are um, breaking him and then hit him really, really hard here, right, to get the overfill bonus. And uh, we'll see what we end up with here. Again, though, keep in mind, that's only a times 10 experience modifier. So, yeah, I would have been at 174,000 had... I got the 100 times. This isn't the best um, battle, right? It's that that little like lightning panther thing is not uh, the best 
uh, battle to see right. So that oct up, that basically that battle there was two potential um, the, like the lightning cat things, um, but he was replaced by um, the the octopuff king. Um, but again, that's not the best one. There's other battles that are much much better uh, to get in terms of experience here. But um, after the, or at that point now, so um, we will have to go back to uh, Wellgrove and uh, pick up Elrond again. Now it's also your choice if you don't want to do this. If you um, don't think that it's worth it, right? Because, I mean, that was almost no experience whatsoever, right? 17,000, especially once you get into, the, like, the late 90s, you know, right? That's that's not going to cut it. And it's better than to just load your autosave because uh, the game autosaves as you come down into the Infernal Castle. No. Um, and then that way... Now, again, this was basically a wash anyway, right? Because I... Uh, sure, I used the, the three uh, Octopath bowls, but uh, we ended up getting four, so... I actually kind of came out ahead, you know, if I, if you want to look at it like that, right? And so, um, you know, I'll just head back in there and uh, and and try again. But again, it's up to you, and, and if especially again, like I said, if you're in the like late 90s, it's not really worth it to to take that, right? And and one extra octo puff, puff bowl is not worth your time spent, right? Uh, it's not worth going back to town for anyways and, and trying to rehire him. Um, so at that point, I would just reload my uh, my autosave. But um, what I'll do here is I'll, I'll I'll throw in a bunch of clips here of kind of like a, you know good battles and kind of how they end and the experience that you can get. Okay, so here's a clip of the Dreadwolf. Uh, this is the boss down here. So if you've already been all the way down to the bottom of the Infernal Castle and fought him, he'll show up anywhere like just randomly, um, and that's the best that you can get there. So that's two hundred thirty-two thousand five hundred sixty-two experience. Uh, that is um, with an overkill and the break. Um, that's not the most possible experience that you can get from a battle down here, but that's pretty good. Okay, so uh, next clip here is um, is actually, uh, this isn't a battle that is worth that much experience. This one's only like 150,000, but uh, I did want to at least put in, uh, throw some footage in here of you using a, a jewel cake. Um, and again, you can compare, you know, if you've ever done, or, well, if you ever do this battle, you can, you can compare the, the experience that I get here to not using a jewel cake. And again, it's just not worth it. They're, they're, well, it's not that it's not worth it, it's, it's pointless. It, it just, it does so little that, uh, it's just not worth, uh, even using. But, um, anyways, I also did want to throw this, uh, this footage in here, and I may just, uh, cut, cut to the end of this, we'll see, but, um, of, of actually getting a, uh, a nut. Uh, they actually do exist, I can assure you. Um, the, the, the drop rate apparently is like 5% on these things though, so it's terrible. Uh, but again, so kind of just showing the, uh, uh, kind of the way that I, that I, I basically get these, uh, these octopuffs down, as well as the kates. It's really the same thing. They don't, there isn't much difference between, uh, the strategy and, and kind of getting them, but, um, you know, again, it's it's my opinion is just use magic. It's the best way to, to handle these guys. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, let's see, did I get a? Let's see if I got a Elrond to. He must have done the 100. Nope, only 10 that time. It must be the very very last time I summoned him that he uh, that he did the times 100 buff here. Uh, so again, mostly it's just you know get the enemies down, stall until El Elrond is done, and then if you get the you know, EXP uh, buff then great. If you don't, well, try again. Oh, what? It's only times ten. What happened? Did I already get it or what? Oh, there. It is. Oh, there's another times ten. All right, must have triggered on the very, very last attempt. Here I go. What to do? Now then. Any day now, buddy. Oh dear. I think not. There it is. Boom. Last time. Uh, again, unfortunately, only like 150k off of this battle. Um, I was really hoping that this one would be really good, right? Because there's so many enemies, but they're just not worth as uh, or that much uh, individually. So there it is, the Nursing Nut um, and the 153k. Okay, so uh, I think this battle is the one that probably has the, the most potential for experience, although I did mess this up. Um, I, I think I didn't get the overkill bonus, which was just stupid. Uh, I also used the jewel cake here, which again is, is really pointless. There's no reason to be using those. Um, 
I just don't, I don't even think it's worth it. I think it's, yeah. I, I should really check again, but it was like, I vaguely remember it being like somewhere between 100 and 500 extra experience. It's just terrible. Uh, I don't know if they're actually broken or if they were supposed to always be that bad. It seems kind of crazy, though, because, um, you know, the, the chubby cates are so tough to get a hold of. Um, and I, I, I mean, I'm sure it's not just the chubby cates, right? I'm sure it's some of the other cates you can get those from as well, but uh, just in, like, lesser quantities. But, God, by the time you can, like, you know, take this stuff out, it just seems like that little bit of experience is, is laughable and, and, and really just silly. And, you know, for, for how difficult it can be to get those uh, successfully, it just seems wild. But, um... Anyways, I think this ends up being about 260,000 experience, so definitely more than the Dreadwolf even. Uh, I think the Dread Dreadwolf was around 230, but um, it also gets to the point where um, it'll be pretty easy for you to take down the Dreadwolf, or easy-ish. Um, and so, you know, you, you may not want to pass up uh, that. But I will say, uh, it felt to me like the Kate... Uh, Chubby Kate and, or Chubby Kate and the King Octopuff do feel like they uh, appear at a pretty good rate with all of these accessories on. So um, it, it may be worth it to you to you know skip the Dread Wolves if you want. But um, again, I guess I, I would just say keep in mind that uh, at a certain point it gets pretty easy to take them out as well. But all right, there is Elrond's uh, you know times 100 experience buff. And uh, at this point, I was ready to take him out. But I really did mess this up, though. I should have broken him and then and then finish him off with, like, I don't know, the uh, Arms Master's uh, Lion Axe or whatever that Lionheart Axe or whatever that ability is called. Um, and really slaughter him. But there it is, 261,000. So really good amount of experience. But anyways, that's it for this one. So as always, hope the guide was helpful. And thanks for watching.